Hello, my name is Taisha Ned, and currently I live in Seattle, Washington. I moved here to work with Pat Graney, who is the director of Keeping the Faith in Prison Project. And from that program, I started to develop my own program called Dear Legacy, which is also a prison outreach program. The latest iteration of that is was in Columbus, Ohio, working in the Franklin County Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. The Ohio State Department of Dance really prepared me for my career because I feel it gave me space to try and fail and I think that's really an important thing to think about as a professional because I think within the what we think is a failure is where success is and it's a lot of information for how to do it differently the next time and so I really appreciated space to experiment to try things and to get feedback and be able to apply that feedback and really meaningful way. That's something that I carry with me today as a professional. With my BFA, I can't stress enough how much confidence I gained in myself as a dancer, as a performer, and as an artist. I am teaching at a local dance studio here in Columbus, Marjorie Jones School of Dance. I teach anywhere from ages 3 to 18, and it's styles that range from ballet, tap, jazz, and contemporary. Currently, I am enrolled in physical therapy school here at Ohio State. Having that movement analysis background and being able to really keenly look at movement has set me ahead of my classmates. I know that getting my degree from the Ohio State Department of Dance has truly allowed me to broaden my horizons into getting my goals and dreams accomplished. As a professional in the dance field, I am living in New York City. I am a choreographer, a dancer and performer, and also a videographer specializing in the documentation of dance. My BFA from Ohio State Dance prepared me for my career not only as a performer in terms of my technical dancing ability, but my BFA prepared me for the business side and practical side of being an artist in today's world. I know how to talk about the ideas I'm working with, and I know how to write about my choreography. Since I graduated in 2013, I've been working as a dance and film artist in Brooklyn, New York. I have a company that documents a lot of live performance in the city, and we create promos, reels, trailers, full-length edits, projection work, and dance films. I also work in fashion production. In the summer, I spend my time at Bates Dance Festival as a videographer there. This will be my sixth year there. I started as an intern under Lindsay Cattle Lapointe and Peter Richards, both of whom graduated from the Ohio State University Department of Dance. My BFA didn't just help me prepare for my career, it basically built my career. Because when I think about it, I can trace almost every single job I've had since graduation back to someone who went to Ohio State. I know that's crazy, but it's true. It just was like such a great mix of everything and I feel like that really opened my mind up to trying new things now in my life and saying yes to projects that maybe scare me or challenge me. Currently I teach at the Arts and College Preparatory Academy here in the Columbus, Ohio area. It is a high performing charter high school um, that focuses on the arts and college prep academic curriculum. In my job, my duty includes creating the dance curriculum, building dance appreciation, working with students and getting them interested in the art of dance and seeing the value in it. So I'm really having a blast working within the field of my degree. I also hold a teaching certification for grades 7 through 12 in dance. I'm now the co-director of school administration at the American Dance Festival in Durham, North Carolina. Okay. Ohio State Dance prepared me for the professional dance field by giving me a broad exposure to all the ways that you can make a life in dance. The big thing for me was I, I had an internship uh, the summer between my junior and senior year at Ballet Met Columbus in their education department and that laid a good groundwork for what my eventual arts administration career was going to be because I was like, oh, I can do this. Oh yeah, I kind of like sitting at a desk, <laughs> which is good because not everyone does. <laughs> um, overall, Ohio State gave me all of the resources I needed to explore these different paths. The technology, now I build websites all the time. I can edit WordPress like nobody's business, and I have been able to perform professionally in the various cities I've lived in, um, so keeping my practice a part of my life as well as the arts administration that I do in the daytime. 
So I've been able to keep all these different parts of myself because of what Ohio State modeled for me and the opportunities that it gave me. Just because you think of yourself in a certain way in terms of like, I'm just a performer or I'm just a choreographer, you don't have to limit yourself to those sorts of things. And the field is not as limited as that anymore. So open yourself up to all of the things that you can do, like technology or film or choreography or education or performing or administration, producing. There are so many options and what's important is to get those tools for yourself as many as you can so that you can create the work that you want to see in the world. It's so dark in here. <laughs> Wait. That literally helped not a single bit. <laughs> There's a way. If you're creative and you're persistent and you work hard, 